Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Today's video is more so a follow me around. I especially want to go get sushi because this roll place, I went there once with my cousin. Um, they actually came out with like a box set of small little rolls. So once I saw that I was like I have to, have to, have to, have to have it. So now I'm in dire need of sushi. But today we are filming a follow me around for the day as well as a Q&A. Sometimes Q&As are hard because I do feel like they can get really repetitive. I always have to remind myself that there are plenty of new subscribers that come here and there. And even though I do think that majority of my questions do get answered the more you watch my videos, I thought it'd be nice if we covered the important stuff again. I was over at the Ramos's last weekend this past weekend with Clem because she was getting groomed because she gets groomed with Natalia I'll leave her information down below she is such an amazing groomer and the best thing is she is mobile so she'll come to you but the boys get groomed so Clem has been getting groomed there and Kim actually got her this bed and I've never seen her so obsessed so obsessed when I first got Clementine, Kim also got her a bed as well. Um, and she loved that bed. Loved that bed. Um, but not as much as she loves this bed. Like, she slept in it all day, you guys. All night, I mean. All night. She did not leave it. She did not bother me last night. She stayed here the whole night. She's like, Mom, I know you're talking about me. Sally, <laughs> you're just so cute. So I thought while we're in bed, before I get up, I'll answer a few questions. I do have everything on my phone. That's why I'll be looking at it. So first question is, what keeps me going? I think it's, of course, my family and Clementine. Um, the biggest root in who I am and, like, my personality and all of that is always wanting to make my parents very proud. I think it naturally comes as a child to minority parents um they've put so much work into trying to make me the best of the best and for me i personally feel like i've let them down quite a lot for personal reasons um and so i think i am making it up to them right now and that's what keeps me going and then clementine obviously she's literally <clears throat> i'm so sorry my voice is like cracking and like dull and like really low because i just woke up and clementine has a lot to do with it i know she's just a dog but she is a living creature she's also literally my child i am in charge of her whatever happens to her is my responsibility so everything that i do is also for her even though she's not like a human child the next question is does it ever get stressful coming up with video ideas it's not that it's stressful coming up with the ideas for me in particular it's more so stressful on how i'm going to execute those ideas because i live at home where i love living at home by the way this is not to say like oh my god i live at home so i i'm stuck here no i choose to live at home with that i still also choose to keep my parents life very private um, my brother has started entering my youtube world and my work world but um, my parents, you know, they do their work on YouTube as well privately. So I choose to keep their lives private. And with that being said, it's so hard sometimes to vlog or film inside the house because it's not my own space. So that in itself is very stressful to me. But other than that, no. Third question, are you at peace? Um, realistically, I don't think... I wanted to be like, yes, because I'm very, I'm at a very peaceful state of mind. However, I don't think that I will reach, I don't think anyone could be like 100% peaceful, like 1000% unbothered, just always peaceful. Like I don't, I don't believe in that. Someone's always going through shit. Um, but I would like to say that I am pretty close like i feel as of right now very peaceful at the nail salon we are going to get my nails done 
that's what you do at the nail salon. Yes, Michelle. I don't know what I'm going to be doing, though. I think maybe a nude color. Because I'm sick of looking at the pink. Maybe. I don't know. Just finished. I don't know the company name, but I do know it's called Warm Pink. If you go to Biotone, you can get it there. They look so good. I also cut like halfway down. I always make Trina cut them halfway down because my nails grow so fast, but they look so good. Oh, hi. Didn't realize you could see me. I'm actually going to order some food. I'm going to order from that sushi place. It's called Roll Hand Roll. There's one on Warner, but I think they made one. I think they might have opened one in Fountain Valley. So I think that's the one I'm going to. Okay, I just parked the car and we are waiting for my food. I'm a little bit early, so I thought I would answer some more questions in the car with you guys. Sorry about this little light reflection. Um, the sun is kind of in and out of clouds. It's like really cloudy today. Um, so I can't really help that, but I'm so sorry. Has your ideal type changed while going back on dating apps? No, I think it stayed the same for the most part. What I consider as ideal type is like liking tall guys or liking guys with manners or you know i think i've had the general same i don't think it's changed that much what is something your younger self would be proud of about your older self i think the first thing that comes to mind is like to be able to do social media as work is insane to me like i think it was all our dreams to be a youtuber once in our lives if we grew up around this era and it is crazy that I get to do what I get to do. Um, second thing is how I stand up for myself, aka basically having like a backbone. I was such a goody two shoe, not in a sense of like I was always nice and like always perfect and always like got straight A's in that way. No, like goody two shoes, that is in like I was always your yes girl, like I always did everything, even if I didn't want to do it. Um, I never really spoke up for myself, you know, I always looked at like, what about their side and their perspective and how they feel like I never I was always second. And the third thing is kind of more so like the second thing but like being unapologetically myself, I get to choose when I want to be nice and when I don't because I think I deserve more or less or whatever the situation is like, I basically choose to put myself first like that's what's most important to me and I think that's like big growth for me what is your deal breaker in a relationship my deal breaker is besides all the obvious things like cheating and you know all whatever the normal basics are probably someone who doesn't put in the same effort that I do um and that's not to say, like, I put in a lot of effort, but I do. I do, actually. No, I do. I take care of my friends, my family, and the people that I really care about. Because um, as much as I have a backbone now, I still am who I am before when I was younger. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I put in a lot of effort to the people that I care about or want to care about. And, um... I've learned that some people just don't show it the same way or they're just not like that. And for me, it's very important. So if the person does not do the same or think that it's important to show the same effort, then for me, it's like, I'm immediately like, no, I don't, I don't really think we'll get along. Cause if you don't have that same type of moral, I guess, or effort, it's just, it's not going to work. I'm going to feel always like, like I want more or I deserve more and it would never work out. Favorite physical feature about yourself? I've always liked probably majority of my facial features like my nose. I really like my nose. Um, I really like my lips but I did go through a phase where I really wanted lip injections and I did end up getting it but I'm glad that I only got it once and I never got it again. And I'm never going to because I like my own lips, which is funny because I always said I used to like my lips before that. And I don't know why I ended up getting lip injections. I think it was just like 
the hype around it and social media really, really, really wanted me, like, it made me want to try it so bad. So that's one thing. But if it was outside of my facial features, it would probably be like my legs. I like my legs. Is it weird to like your own ankles? Is that weird? I like my ankles. So here is this one. This one's called Roll Hand Roll Bar. It's the same one as the one in Huntington Beach. This one is on Brookhurst and Edinger in this plaza with Brodard is over there. Um, this one specifically has the Maki rolls that I'm getting today. Maki, Maki, I don't know. I don't know if the other one carries it, but the other one is on Warner and Beach. I've been to that one, but I've never been to this one. Hello. I'm really excited. It's in a box and everything. I can't comfortably eat if my hair is not tied up. I don't care. Like, the only time that I can't eat with my hair up is, like, if I have to keep it down for some formal event. But usually I'll find a way to tie it up. I'm so excited. I have my hand sushi and quite some... T oh, my God. Did they not give me... Oh, my God. I'm hoping that the chopsticks are in here, you guys, because I don't see chopsticks. My hands are clean, but I don't want to eat with my hands. Ah! This is the four Maki set. Um, it was 24 bucks, 26 something total after taxes and everything. They give you soy sauce, a yuzu something sauce, and wasabi and ginger. I got the scallop, yellowtail, spicy salmon, and spicy tuna. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am beyond excited right now. I'm glad they gave me chopsticks. I'm very grateful. I'm going to try some, and then I'll answer more questions. I'm going to try yellowtail first. Oh crap, that's good. Next one is spicy tuna. I mean spicy salmon. Mmm. Oh my gosh, the spicy salmon is so good. Then there's scallop. Oh my gosh, you guys, their scallops are so freaking good. Mm. And then I brought my own water. Okay, best drugstore lip liners. Definitely the NYX. I will link it down below. It is my favorite. I always, the three colors that I use the most is probably neutral pink, I think it is. Uh, the color Ever and coffee. Those are like my three go-tos. Will you be doing another TMM? If you guys don't know what TMM is, TMM is shortened for Tell Me More. Um, and it was kind of like, it started off as like kind of like an advice column-ish where you guys would email me and let me know what's going on in your lives and kind of like spilling the tea and telling me more about your lives. And I would connect it with my life and see if I've experienced the same or if my friends have experienced the same and just kind of getting really deep with you guys. Um, I still have the email for it and I would love to start TMM again. If you guys are interested, let me know down in the comments or like this video because really it's teamwork. I would love to bring back TMM if I had the opportunity to. I think the last time I filmed TMM was with my cousin. I do have an image of how I want TMM to be. Maybe that's why I'm not continuing because I'm like, mm, I have this image, an idea, but I can't execute it right now. Maybe that's why. But I would love to bring it back if you guys are interested. I've gotten this question a few times and I think it's really funny, but I thought I would just clarify is your name Michelle Yeji or Michelle Choi? My name is both. 
technically. Yeji is my Korean name, if you guys didn't know that. That's what my family calls me. Uh, the reason why I changed my name was because Michelle Choi is also a well-known YouTuber. And some people were getting really confused between her and I because we're both Korean. We both have the same name. So I just thought, you know what? To differentiate myself and kind of grow as an individual, I'm going to change that. And that's why I took off my last name and put in my middle name. But I do love my last name, so you'll see it here and there. So I either go by Michelle Yeji or Michelle Choi. Same thing. Literally both are my name. The sushi is so freaking good. You can order online. I went to their website and ordered. But from what I saw, it looks like you can only pick up from this location. So I will link this location's Yelp down below. Not the one on Warner. This, the one, this is the one that's in Fountain Valley. That's the yellowtail. That's the scallop. That's the salmon. That's the spicy tuna. I don't know what's on top of that, but that is really freaking good. As you can clearly tell, I woke up from a nap. I have to tidy up my room. Kim is actually coming this week, so I want to tidy up some random messes I have around my room. Literally, like, just little things. I'm also in the middle of cleaning my bathroom. The most important thing you can do when you have a guest over is have a clean bathroom and a kitchen. I feel like that's, like, the most important thing. I know that it's, like almost eight but I kind of really want to make my bed it's like a part of the process okay Come at me, bro. Come. <laughs> I'm going to answer a few more questions. Let's see here. Yes, I did change. Um, I was actually planning on wearing my... Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. I was planning on wearing my Adele shirt tomorrow, so, like, out of the house. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep it as clean as possible. You guys know I literally take care of her like she's my child. Hey. I'm trying to film. Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? <laughs> it's really hard to film with you here, girl. Stop. Stop. Please do not mind Clementine running back and forth. She's probably like, who in the world are you talking to? I think she thinks... Hello. I'm not talking to you. I know you think that I'm talking to you, but I'm not talking to you. Okay. Just sit for mama, okay? Do you experience some days where you get sad for no reason? What helps you get over it? That was the most realest comment ever, and I do, I do. Some days I will fully just bask in my sadness. Like, I'll just fully just, like, feel the emotions, lay in bed, do absolutely nothing, eat my favorite foods kind of situation. Some days I don't want to be alone. That happens a lot for me. This is a really deep conversation, and you're kind of ruining it. I'm just saying. Had to switch up the angle because my child is not giving up that spot. How's your gym progress going? I'm going to be really honest. It could be better. And that's all I have to say about that. That's all. <laughs> do you plan on getting your own apartment? And when you do, will you move closer to Kim? I actually get this comment quite often. Well, I get the comp... The, I get this question quite often. 
Um, usually separately, sometimes together. So usually I get the, are you going to move out? And then the second part is when you do, are you going to move closer to Kim? You guys know Kim moved about an hour away from Orange County. So to answer the question separately, one, yes, I will be getting my own apartment. I don't know when. Um, very comfortable. I've talked about this before. Like I said, when I know, you will know. Trust and believe that will be the most exciting news that I have to tell you guys. But I'm very comfortable where I am. I am saving money. I am enjoying being with my family for the time being. I live a very comfortable life at home. My parents are very um, conscious of the fact that I am older. I take care of myself. I pay for my own bills. I pay for my own food. I cook for myself. Sometimes, yes, I do have dinner with family because my mom asks me to be there or asks me if I would like to join. Um, I kind of have the best of both worlds, you know? So I'm very comfortable here, but when I do get an apartment, trust and believe you guys will be the first to know. Second part of the question is, will I be moving closer to Kim? As much as I love Kim and she is my best friend and I would have no concern if I saw her every day of the week like I used to, I am born and raised in Orange County. I love Orange County. It's my home. It has everything that I need. It is very expensive, but it's very expensive all around California, honestly. So I will be staying closer to family. My parents just filmed this for their channel. It's called Takanjo. Whoa, Abba. I have the brightness. Takanjo? <laughs> Why is it Takanjo? You don't need Takanjo. Kakjo? Takanjo. Kangjo. 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 그 스윗한 과자 같은 걸 강정이라고 mm -hmm. 오리지널 트레디션 mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever had it before And we got some regular chicken over there too Which is really nice mm -hmm. Maiden mm. Maiden it's your dream I know What? Chicken It's oh. so good I know right? 왜? 토마토를 먹어야지 나는 It's like KFC Korean fried chicken <laughs> it tastes like spicy orange chicken. <laughs> it's like a Korean spicy orange chicken. Yeah. That's the best way I could describe it. I'm going to do my evening skincare with you guys as well as answer the last two questions. Favorite thing you've learned during your healing journey? I'm looking at my computer, by the way, if you're wondering. So... Obviously with healing, I think it's also the same as finding your peace. I don't think there's ever, like, I don't think you'll ever be done healing. I don't think you'll ever find 100% peace. I don't, you know, those kinds of things. I don't think I'll ever be done healing. I think I will just, time will go by and eventually I will just live life and those new memories will heal and I'll just learn my lessons and that's just kind of the cycle of life you know I think what I'm learning in this healing era is just to be firm and okay with my decisions sometimes I make decisions and then I feel bad that I made that decision I was very upset with myself for making the decision that I had made because I felt like I had let myself down. I think the biggest thing for me is just learning to be okay with the unknown. I think that's the most, that's something that I constantly have to work on because I have a fear of the unknown. Like I don't like working towards something if I don't know if I'm going to succeed. Therefore I stay in the same place because I feel like that's safer than getting rejected or not making it in my future. Um, it's a very hard thing to deal with, but I'm working on it, you know? I get this question asked all the time. I get this question asked whether I'm asking for questions for a QA. and a I get this question asked if I post a vlog. I get this question asked if I post mukbangs. I just get asked this question all the time. I get different variations of it. I get it from men, women, mothers, fathers, everybody. I get it from everybody, okay? And trust me, I already question myself all the time. And I have you guys breathing down my neck about it. And it will be the death of me. I'm not even kidding. And it literally, the variations are 
Are you dating? Do you have a boyfriend? Are you still on dating apps? What about that guy? Are you still seeing that guy? Are you seeing anyone? Do you have this? Do you have that? I'm going to try to answer all those questions in the simplest way ever. First things first, I'm not on dating apps right now currently because I just don't really want to do it. I was on it for like two months maybe. It was fun, but it wasn't fun. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like fun in a way. It's like you get to meet new people. You could potentially start, you know, like as a person who's such a hopeless romantic, I'm in love with the idea of love. Like I love falling in love. I love love. Just love. My God, I hate it. But, you know, so dating is somewhat fun, getting to know someone. But the adult me, the comfortable 28-year-old Michelle, I don't want to ask the same questions over and over again. I don't want to answer the same questions over and over again. I'm just over the dating scene. And when I'm ready again in a few months, I'll get back on. But no, thank you. But in the time that I was on the dating apps, I had met someone. He was very nice. It did not work out. So that kind of moved on. We went on a few dates. And then after him, I actually ended up in a relationship very briefly. You guys might have seen a picture on Instagram and some of you guys freaked out. As much as you guys pester me about this question, it really warms my heart how much you guys want to be a part of my life and because I'm nobody I'm just a random girl from California like you guys are just watching a random girl from California who documents her life on YouTube and you guys are so supportive and caring in a sense where you guys want to know what's happening in my love life and you guys know how much I want to be in a relationship and so you guys constantly comment whether you're like oh my god so excited or some of you guys are like oh my gosh spill the tea sometimes I get comments that are very heartwarming where they're like Michelle you're such an amazing person I hope you meet someone just as amazing you know things like that you guys are so invested and it warms my heart but it also can be kind of like a stab in the back because it's like, I know, I know, I know, I know, you guys, I know. I I can't wait to be happy and fully, fully, fully in love when I am in the right relationship. But that didn't end up working out and um, I broke it off, hence why I entered the healing era. You guys are probably like, well, yeah, what happened? That is what happened, life happened. And even though I did the breaking up, it was still a very hard decision for me. And um, even though at the end of the day, I believe it was the right decision, it was still, uh, you know, there were still repercussions. As much as it probably hurt him, it hurt me a lot. I know I kept it from you guys. I'm glad I did though, because it wasn't a very long relationship. But next time, hopefully, one sticks around long enough and then I can share him with you guys. But as of now, nope, dating is not on the line. Not very interested at the moment, but I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. I love spending time with you guys. I love sharing information with you guys because sometimes I do feel like I like to hide like snippets of my life, but this is the only time I can be like fully open with you. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!